All right, in this video, I'm actually assembling the monitor arms. So right here, the monitor arm is actually in the way of the screen. So it's not gonna be high enough and the MIDI keyboard isn't gonna fit very good. And this monitor arm does, is not very good. You all, so I have actually a piece of tape on there to hold it. So you're gonna see it's gonna slide down. So sometimes things are poor quality when you purchase them, but this shipping tape, and I just put a pencil mark cause that is where I know it works good for my MIDI keyboard. So I'm just gonna screw in the monitor here and I'm just comparing the other new monitor arms with the old monitor arm that nothing's gonna hit or anything. And I just wanna find where I wanna drill a hole. This is gonna add a little extra height so that it's not so hard on the monitor arm, which I'll share as I go. So gonna have to bolt down that stuff. And here is some goodies. So there's the bolts. Gonna get my socket set here. And again, there is the bolts, the nuts, the washers, all that kind of stuff. So I'm just finding the height of the bolt here. So that one's too short. Cause again, I gotta get a washer on there. This one is too long. Okay, this bolt's way too long. So I do go to Home Depot, I get some more bolts later on in this video, uh, but just to kind of share you the equipment and stuff. So I was an electrician, so I have a lot of tools, which is really, really awesome. Uh, just going to get um, drill bits here to compare what size I need. All right, because for the monitor arms, this is the bolt that goes through the desk to tighten it down. And I'm just going to drill some holes into that piece of wood here, okay? And I'm thinking that I'm gonna need a hole on the two sides. So one hole in the middle, then two on the sides to bolt it down. And this bit was too dull. So I ended up using these spade bits, which cut through a lot better. Uh, I didn't go all the way through because it makes a cleaner hole if you just finish off on the bottom. And just cleaning out the holes here, just so that it just looks cleaner. And I'm also going to sand down this piece of wood. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect in the home studio, but just a little bit nicer. And so now I have to drill through the desk, but I have a piece of metal on the bottom of my desk because of my keyboard tray. So, um, and I put down this, this towel to collect any metal shavings. So where my finger is, that's where it is going to land around. So drilling through, it's going to hit the metal. And as you can see, there's metal shavings on my bit, which I'll share right now. But if I push down too hard, this desk is cheap. So I put this little support in there so I could push down really hard and not worry about breaking my desk. Gonna use a bigger bit and it, <laughs> this one was wobbling. So I made it through. This is the bolt that comes with the monitor arms. It goes through good. It has a little washer for some extra support. And you're gonna see that um, I'm gonna try it without the block of wood just to see how it goes but it was hitting the edge there. So it went to Home Depot, could only find the same length. I need a bigger bolt, but just for now, this did fit and it worked. So I'm gonna to go to my socket set. I'm gonna grab the socket wrench, the extension, and you can also use the extension to pop out the sockets. Sometimes it's hard on the fingers. As you can see, you just push the little button in the back, goes in, and then you're going to put this socket on there. So tightening it down, you can see that the monitor arm was not able to go high enough and I'm already maxed out. It's not even clearing the monitor, the other monitor arm. So day two, I got a longer bolt. Then this one is the one that's gonna work for everything. You can see it's a little bit longer than what comes and it actually goes through the block of wood. So I'm gonna put that on and I will get it ready. And then the other bolt, needs to go down. So it's about four inches down and I'm just gonna show a cool trick here. It's a little like radius. So, so in four inches, nothing's gonna hit within four inches. That metal is really, really close and it just reaches. So I'm gonna screw from the top and finish off on the bottom. And when I put it through, I'm just gonna put a little weight on top, my little tape measure so I can use the bolt easy and I can hand bomb it. And then I'm gonna use the socket wrench, but I wasn't able to get it down tight enough. So you can see like that's not acceptable. So I had to get a wrench here and the wrench will allow me to tighten it at least more acceptable. You know, nothing too heavy or anything is going on here, but it's much better. So now here are the monitor arms and they are just gonna go on. I actually did have to cut the other single arm a little bit, which you'll see in later videos. But you can see, look, those monitor arms are super, super awesome. They are much more affordable than what they used to be. In the camera here, you can see the left and the right, the computer arms. So I do get full control of where I want to move my arms. Now I wanna to switch to the MIDI keyboard tray. You can see it's sliding down. And the reason is because I screwed it in on an angle. So I'm just going to disassemble it. This is what it looks like. 
So just soft closing slides. Also another problem was these bolts were a little too tight, the holes. So I'm going to take them out, going to um, drill out the holes just a little bit bigger. And then after that, another thing is that I want, I still want pitch on the MIDI keyboard tray. You're going to see this plywood. I'm going to cut these little strips of plywood, drill little holes in them. It will allow the, the MIDI keyboard tray to have a little bit of pitch. So that one's a little bit too big. I'm going to go with these ones. And when I screw it in, I'm just going to get a little bit of pitch when I screw it in. So there they are, just, just like that. So with those holes now bigger, I'm going to have full control on bolting it down and getting things lined up straight. Now, when I was installing this all, I actually hit the mon um, one of my monitors, so I got a little battle wound there. I'm not sure which screen I want to use, so I'm going to use my old computer to test those monitors. Here's a video card if you've never seen one before. And I'm just going to plug in the computer screens again just to see which one I like best. And this is my old CPU you can see right there. So uh, the one up top is the one I ended up using for my main screen. But again, there is the studio. Turns out really, really good. There's a gap there for my MIDI keyboard tray. Works really, really good. Everything is back to normal. Uh, the studio is, you know, all disassembled in this video. But as I am talking, it's all back up and running. So be on the lookout for more videos, all right? If you guys would like to learn FL Studio, check out my free book called Five Keys to a Successful Beat. So simple it becomes creative. Get it by going to itsgratuitous.com forward slash five keys.